Nice drunk. Nice drunk. Hi everyone, sorry to clog up your YouTube subscription feed, but uh, just some things I wanted to go over real quick, address some things I see mentioned in comments, uh, and uh, ask some questions of you, myself. Um, so let's get started. When I use the word hype, um, it addresses one of two different things. Um, one is obvious, it's why the hype for something that's been talked about as a classic for a million years, like Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Link to the Past, Chrono Trigger, that's category of stuff. The other way I use the hype, like when I say why the hype for Demon's Crest or why the hype for uh, Dracula X, Castlevania Dracula X, it's because their price tags on eBay are absurd. They're oh, like 120, 130 bucks more than that probably so that's what I'm getting at when I say why the hype why are these games so freaking expensive and that's not getting into the whole like rarity or like you know the the physical aspect of like the cartridge being rare or not or whatever the case may be I'm talking about like is it like obviously no game is worth that price especially we when you can get it on an, you know emulators or on the the virtual console or where, you know wherever but <clears throat> excuse me it's just it's just addressing the fact that like why is this game if, if you're just like looking at games and you see that for the price of that I'm like what, what's the deal with that game so that's just to answer that question what's the deal why is it it's just my take on it that's all yep and I'll mispronounce more stuff too it's just, I try my best, I know, and, and I know it's Seiken Densetsu 3 instead of Seiken, whatever, it's just... I get people sometimes that are like, you know, I, I that, that say, I, 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 this channel really caught me by surprise because it's, it's, it's a lucid person, like, giving commentary to stuff that makes sense once in a while, and it's... I never would have guessed that from your name and your intro and all that. Thing. You should change it. It's, no, not changing it. This is what I am. This is who I am. It's going to stay that way. Also wanted to take a quick second to address some other YouTube channels that are within the retro gaming universe. Uh, the first one is H.C. Bailey. Uh, he's already very popular, but um, he does amazingly thorough walkthroughs on some old-school JRPGs, uh, everything from Breath of Fire to Lufia, Lufia 2, um, Chrono Trigger, the, the DS release of Chrono Trigger with all the bonus stuff, uh, pretty much every Final Fantasy game you can think of. It's, he is a tremendous resource for information. Um, I always like, when I play along with the game, I like to watch his stuff along with because I know I'll miss something that he has covered so he's a very valuable resource in that regard there's also game versus game speaking of valuable resources I learn something new every time I see a game versus game episode um, you just recently did one about Aladdin there's Aladdin comp doing a thorough comparison of Aladdin for Genesis Aladdin for Super Nintendo and Aladdin for Sega Master System I didn't even know that game existed so very cool stuff there. There's also um, Atlas Vids, which is kind of a, a neat thing that takes certain levels of certain video games, older video games, takes them at a completely different perspective, zooms them way out so you can see kind of the design. It just it just gives you a whole different perspective of, of video games of the era. Um, it al allows you to see some things in a much wider scope. It's it's really kind of it's kind of a novelty, but it's. It's really well done. A lot of interesting stuff there at Atlas Vids. There's also BMB Guitar, one of my favorite um, cover artists, I guess, for um, the 16-bit era games, NES games, Super Nintendo games. Just a lot of kick-ass stuff. Really love his um, cover of the third track. I think it's track three for Top Gear. Um, really well done. A lot of a lot of really if you like I'm, I grew up a metal kid so I like all that metal stuff so and he does a really nice job with that and last but not least there's a retro game on 
And I really like that channel because he does games that I never would have, I've never heard of, that I never would have thought to have played. Um, and he really does a nice job presenting them in a way that makes me want to go check him out. You know, like it's, it's. I like his approach. I like his, his. Uh, I like the cut of his jib. So, <laughs> it's. Uh, that's. It's. Uh, check that out too. It's a lot of racing games on that channel too, which I, I really like racing games. Everything from Mario Kart, Top Gear, that kind of stuff. But I haven't heard of like. 90% of the racing games that he covers on his channel. So check him out, Retro Game On. Now, a question that I wanted to throw out to you is I, me, my girlfriend and I both really love to play um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. And we wanted to do like a Let's Play series kind of a thing, but. I know the traditional method for producing Let's Play videos is one every day until you know we get as far as we can or we finish the game. I'm not too fond of that because I don't want to clog up the channel with that. So I was wondering, would it be too awkward if I just put one 15 minute or one 20 minute video like every Friday or every Monday or something like that? <clears throat> or would that be too weird to like have to wait an entire week to see the continuation. Not that it would matter after you get the whole thing up and you know then there'd just be a playlist and you zoom right through the whole thing, but in the meantime following it in real time it would be, it might be kind of weird for some people to like have to wait that long. Um, or would it be better to just put the whole thing up as it's, as it's done? So let me know what you think about that. And last but not least, uh, look for the Super Famicom RPG Part 2 video the last week of October. Uh, the games I'll be covering are uh, Live a Live, uh, Treasure of the Rudras, or Rudra no Io, uh, Chaos Seed, which is a very surprisingly dense game. I think you'll really like it. Uh, Mystic Arc, which may or may not be a sequel to Seventh Saga. Uh, Alkahest, uh, Gunman's Proof and some of the games in the East series, uh, 4 and 5 in particular. So look out for those, or, or for that video, I should say. Um, thanks for watching as usual. Sorry for wasting your time. You can go back to watching Game Grumps or whatever more entertaining stuff that you'd like to watch. Or, or at, even better, check out the videos that I just listed. Check out the channels I just listed, rather. Go check them out right now. They're worth it. Um, and as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.